Hello, hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to our Hermitcraft series. My name is Alex and today we're starting things off in our little villager trading hall. I spent a lot of hours building it based on Iskal's um, trading hall with the god machine, but unfortunately video got corrupted and the quality was so terrible, I couldn't decide if I want to show it to you or not. It was so bad. Also with the server update to 1.16.2, I lost my Optifine and stopped working, so I can't dramatically zoom on my own face, which makes me very upset. So I'm just gonna move on and fly off into the distance. However, let me show you what I've been up to. I have built a skeleton of the skyscraper I am gonna be building today, and I also have decorated the trading hall. It does have a bit too much green on it. I didn't realize it's gonna grow so fast, but anyways, this is how the main building is gonna look like. It's just a little example of aging it properly, and the main building is gonna be like this. But today we're gonna start with just building up the concrete walls and filling the empty space inside with the creeper farm. I had to build this pathetic staircase to get to the bottom of the skyscraper so I can build from the bottom to the top and that's exactly what we're gonna do now in this little time lapse. In this little time lapse I wanted to express my slight disappointment with Milky MC server, the server we are playing on now. And the reason behind it is literally the time lapse. If you have seen the original episodes of Hermitcraft, members of the original server are able to log in with the camera account and film their project building process from the side, so you can see the progress. On the Milky MC, however, the camera accounts consider cheating because a lot of people abuse it and use it to travel around the world in spectator mode looking for diamonds and other valuables. It makes me quite upset because now you guys will have to watch 30 seconds time lapse of me mindlessly placing down blocks, which doesn't make much sense to be honest. Let's hope that at some point it'll change or a compromise will be found, hopefully. For now, that is what it is. I've been building for quite a while, I have made a few miscalculations and I had to um, break everything and start over and over again, I think maybe around three times. So bear with me and eventually I promise you we will finish this project. La 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 Of course I ran out of concrete. La 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 la. One side done, three more. Hello? Why are there so many bunnies in here? And there's two inside. What are you doing there? I'm gonna free you. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna feed you carrots. Would you like some carrots? I'm gonna get all these carrots from here. And one for you, one for you, no, one for you, for you, for you. Oh, they're planting or eating, what are you doing? Oh no, they're making babies now. Great, so they're gonna be more bunnies because I find a way to cure, to cure little bunnies. Okay, I need to get out of this trap, let me out. And it's coming together pretty well, so, oh no. I have creepers all over it. Nah, ninja duck! <laughs> Please don't blow up. No, 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 no. It's gonna destroy my walls. Please don't. Yeah. Whew. But now I need to spawn prove everything! I actually have no idea how much wool we might need to spawn proof everything. It seems like a lot though. Oh, uh, let's get this over with and go get some wool for spawn proofing. Snap, 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 snap. I was way too lazy to put sheep in one spot altogether, so I ended up chasing them around for 30 minutes and collecting wool. But of course, this is not enough. I will need much, much more than that. However, let's have a look at the progress so far. Oof. Yes. 
that looks great. So I've done this side and the opposite side of this. So we've done three out of four sides right now. And the fourth one will be finished after I create, I make a creeper farm inside of the skyscraper just so I can have a bit of an easier access to inside because I'm just awful, awful at flying with Elytra. So I have been building this and I realized that I won't be able to make a farm like this because the building is on the angle. I didn't think about this. So now I have plenty of space here because it angles this way and no space there. And I also recently found out that water pulse farms like this are not allowed on the server because they're super laggy. So I'll have to knock down an hour of work, approximately. Oh. Oh. So I had to knock everything down and it, it was about an hour of work and then 30 minutes of knocking it all down. It was excruciating and frustrating. So I decided to create a time lapse of myself making another farm, not step by step instructions, but just a time lapse. So I didn't consider the angle of the building. So I had to build much, much smaller farm based on different mob mechanics. So instead of using uh, dispensers with water in it, which will push the creepers off the edge, I will have to put the cats in the middle of the farm now because creepers are afraid of cats and they run away. I have to use that mechanic to push them off the edge. Because the farm is quite compact, the creepers won't die from fall damage and they I'll have to put a magma blocks in this particular formation so when they run away from cats they fall off the edge and the magma blocks will finish them off. They will drop their loot and end up in the minecarts. I really should put trapdoors and carpets together but as you can see I have a bunch of trapdoors and I don't have any carpets so let's quickly go to the shopping district and buy some more wool. I also just realized I haven't actually been to the shopping district on camera, so you guys haven't seen it yet, but I will go... Oh, hello. That's actually very pretty. How do they do that? Ah. Huh. Ah. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. This is a nether portal that leads to the shopping district. It's very... Um, I really, really like shopping district. It's, this is a little hub. This is actually my favorite spot here because it has maps of the shops of the shopping district. It shows basically every shop and some of them are even written down on what's, what's where. But it's also pretty big. I'll show you. It's massive and all the shops are absolutely beautiful. I'm really, really impressed. When I first came here, I was just fascinated how beautiful it is. Um, but we're here on a mission to find a wool, so let's try, um, have a look around and, oh, this is so pretty. Sorry, no distractions. Let's try and find something that'll look like a wool shop. For example, a, um, oh, a sheep in a hat. Sheep in a hat sounds like it's a good, <laughs> it's a sign of a wool shop. <laughs> I couldn't find an entrance anywhere. I don't understand. I thought it's maybe it's in the head, but it's not. Let's just be naughty and break in from the top. It's not a shop. Cool. Cool. Uh... 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 That map is not helpful. I really hope I don't have to go and find the wool myself. And I'm re oh that looks like a sh that looks like a sheep with no head. I assume that's a it's a wool shop. Oh, please be a wool shop. Welcome to the sheep. One diamond for thirty two. Perfect. And of course I forgot that we're turning wool into carpets and I bought way too much wool, but I already placed it and now we're down to trapdoors. Pop 
I am all done, done and done. The creeper farm is finished and I went AFK for about two hours to see how much gunpowder we could produce in that time. Please notice my five star luxury AFK booth. However, I want to show you the final result of our skyscraper. We finished all four sides and I even added a bit to the roof. Let me show you. Okay landing successful yeah a bit of kind of cobblestone and dust and rubbish from literally breaking off the concrete from the top it looks better but i will add a bit of more destruction pieces but for now let's just fly around and have a look at it and i will also show you from the inside how it looks like it's pretty majestic i could say but now i need to land without killing myself okay successful as well so this is the insights um i've done i've finished about 10 or 11 platforms over there to be honest i don't remember the exact number of platforms but the most important thing it's enough it's enough for the gunpowder we need for the rockets and here you can see the creeper in its unnatural habitat um i didn't expect it to take so long to die jeez Unfortunately, this is all we've got time for today's episode. It has been very productive. I know you don't want it to end, but we've done so much. We've finished our skyscraper. We've finished the creeper farm inside. We even AFK'd for a little bit, so we know how this farm works now. And for the next episode, we will AFK for a bit longer. It makes me very happy to see how productive we get in every episode. And hopefully next episode, we will get more and more stuff done. Oh, and by the way, I fixed my Optifine, so next episode we'll have more dramatic zoom-ins. But for now, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!